Welcome back to another episode of The Walking Dead. If you don't know where we left off, go back and watch. I love you faces, Mr. Geek and Mrs. Geeks. Anyways, what we left off on was uh, the dairy farm. We came, and I think they're cannibals, or they're hiding zombies in the basement, or in the attic, or something. I don't trust these people. Right now, we're walking around pushing zombies off of fences. Let's continue. Whoops. No. I wanted to resume game. There we go. All right, let's push you off. Oh, great. Fantastic. Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. Man, the fence burned right okay. into its hands. Okay, this is the same thing. I think they fused together. I gotta chop off the hands. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? <clears throat> if they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. And this one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Okay. Little help here, Lee. Oh, Q, 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 Q. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Ah! Oh ah! shit! What the? Get to the gate. Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With the fence on that gate, it's our only way out! Where's our food, you asshole? Get down, get down! Goddamn thing out of there. Oh, come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah, shit, that hurts. Jesus Christ. Did you really think you could fuck with us? Oh great, now there's a dead zombie body in the way. Ah. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. I'm gonna have to move him. Come on, that's a fat bastard. Oh. Jesus Christ, how many arrows you freaking people got? Damn it, not another one. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Not this many. Oh! Get off me. Get off me! What's wrong? Uh, 
was a goddamn ambush out there! Holy shit, are, are you okay? Bandits here? On our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out. God damn it hurts. Hey, y'all! Mark! Oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, no shit! Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. Do you know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. Yeah. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kids, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. Yeah. I'm awesome. That's right, folks. I'm awesome. They're storing gasoline all over the property. Yeah. Doesn't look very safe, but I guess that's the point. That thing keeps a fence electrified. Yeah, I've already established that. I'm gonna go check in with, uh, Duck and Clem. I gotta make sure she's safe. Why's Duck going first? Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Absolutely. Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. How you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? You got lucky out there. It would have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Yeah. I'm not sure when. One day, things have got to get back to normal. That's good. I hope it's soon. Yeah, me too. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. 
Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, duck, don't pop a gasket. Huh? Talk to Kenny. What, what am I doing? Oh, I thought I was gonna get kicked in the face. Hey. Haley, found anything interesting? I'm just trying to make sure this place is secure. In case we decide to make this a more long-term solution. Except for those people in the woods. Mm. Seems pretty safe. Good to know. Keep your ears open for anything else that might help us. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here. I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch him go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? Well, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'd be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. Yeah. They look happy. Alright, well, I'm gonna go to that gate. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Anything interesting? Or what's this? All right, look at cornfield. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Yep. All right, can I get the barn? Yeah, I'm gonna get the barn. Probably zombies in there. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Well, why aren't you opening it? If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. I wanted you to open the door. Lots of hay. Ugh, enough of these might work as adequate cover for marrows, if that becomes a problem. Anything over here to the left further? Nope. Alright, let's talk to, uh, the angry people. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? They'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? Kenny believes there's still hope. Maybe that's what we need right now. Well, hope doesn't do any good if we're all dead. I'm focused on keeping us alive. And not giving my dad food. That was cold. Eh, so what? Wait. Doesn't offer much in the way of protection, though. Alright. Let's go check out the bandit camp. So, 
fellas. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Hells yeah. Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Don't worry, Clem. I'll be back. Are you going now? Yeah. I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. That dude's got a creepy look. Sunken dead eyes. See anything? <gasps> what did I do? <gasps> I paused it. That's what I did. Anyways, folks, until next time, have a good day. Please remember to like, comment, leave comments. It shares below and all that. I yawn. Why do I keep yawning on the outro? It's, it's very disturbing. Anyways, have a good day, fellow geeks. I will see you next time on The Walking Dead. Zombies. I will say zombies for every outro, because zombies. Zombies. Zombies.